Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something super exciting to share with you. I have the brand new Apple Watch Ultra 2 in black titanium. Not only am I going to unbox it today, but I'm going to document my experience with it for an entire week. I'm gonna be putting it to test with workouts, a hiking adventure, and I'm even traveling to beautiful Hawaii. I'm really excited to see how this watch performs in real life situations, so let's get into it. So we just unboxed the 49 millimeter black titanium and quite honestly, it looks so bougie and sleek. I love this finish, it looks amazing. I always go for gold jewelry and accessories, but to be honest, I feel pretty badass with a black titanium Apple Watch Ultra. I'm honestly feeling like I have to go hit the gym right now. My go-to is my 42 millimeter gold Apple Watch Series 10. So I'm excited to try out an Ultra for the first time ever. I expected it to be heavier, bulkier, and a little bit less aesthetic and girly, but you know what? I'm excited about it and feel like this week is just gonna be filled with workouts and adventure. There are a bunch of new features I'm dying to try this week. We got advanced tracking features, heart rate zones during workouts, advanced metrics for swimming, and up to 100 meters of water resistance. It also has battery life for up to three days with low power mode, so I'm excited to put that to test. We have a really fun week together, so let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm back at home this past week in Hawaii and LA has been amazing. I'm gonna give you a quick recap of all of my favorite features and what I thought about using this watch for actually over a week. Let's start off with my watch face. So there's actually two watch faces I was switching between, the modular ultra and the Snoopy watch face. Now I really love the modular ultra. I honestly feel like I'm a hardcore workout enthusiast with this watch face on. And I also set most of the important things I want on there. So I have on the top left, my alarms. I have level. Top right, I actually put it as a car park waypoint. So if I park my car in a parking lot, I click on that waypoint so I always know where it is. I have my compass, rings, the temperature, and the mindfulness app. And then when I'm not working out or kind of on the go doing adventure things, I like having the Snoopy watch face. I think it adds a little bit more of a fun feminine touch to this device. Now, originally the first day, I honestly thought it was so big and clunky and I really couldn't get used to it on my wrist, but now it really feels normal and it doesn't bother my wrist. I do think it looks obviously bigger than my other Apple watches. I'm really liking it. I feel like it has been inspiring me to get outside, get my steps in and work out more because it's kind of just on my wrist. I can't avoid looking at it and it's really making me want to hit the gym. I'm not kidding. From going from a 42 millimeter watch and to the ultra i honestly really love the screen size it's so easy to tap on everything swipe between apps and i feel like you just have such a bigger display it feels like an iphone on your wrist truly the first day it was kind of bothering me when i would move my wrist like this or if i had a tight sweater or tight long sleeve shirt it kind of bothered me and i have to move it a little bit and that's kind of still the case but thankfully i was only in the warm weather so i was only wearing like t-shirts and bathing suits this could definitely be a problem when I'm wearing a big winter jacket here in Canada because the tight part really does hit right where the ultra is on my wrist. Now if I'm in a warm climate you know I'm gonna be snorkeling. I absolutely love it and I had to go get a new GoPro because I wanted to get some cool underwater shots for you guys. So I'm going shopping this morning because I want to buy a GoPro 
I know there's such amazing fish and like cool stuff that I can film and I want to show you guys. So let's go look around this mall and see if I can find one. I'm on a mission and then we're going to snorkel. I can show you some cool fish. So we got Louis Vuitton. Not going to have it there. But the rip curl. Yes. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, this is a huge success. I found the GoPro 13 Black issues. 4k at 120 sick you can also buy a bunch of like additional filters we've got like nd filters and stuff so this is gonna be awesome for all different types of lighting conditions and i really want to do a more adventurous content because i love that so had to get this one and then i also got the adventure kit it comes with the handler that floats a head strap and then this little clip let's go snorkeling unbox this bad boy i'm so excited to get in the water So I went snorkeling every single morning and checked my Tides app religiously. I also love snorkeling with this because I could see the depth underwater, but it was really fun having this on my wrist as I was snorkeling. If I was diving deep down, seeing how deep I went, or even the water temperature, that was really cool. So to record that, you just have to submerge your wood. So let's go down on three. <laughs> Got my watch on. The tides app was telling me the tide is not that high, so it's pretty good. And this is my watch face that I don't think I'll change because it looks so cool. Also in the tides app, it goes with your location. So it says my current location, the beach right here. And then the last beach I was at was Mavericks Beach. I got my snorkel gear and I'm ready to head out. It's such a beautiful day already. It's only 8 a.m. But let's go see some fish and I'm excited to see some more turtles. So I also set this up as an open swim workout. So let's go swimming. I got my <laughs> fish bible here. See which ones I'm gonna see. And apparently there's some turtles right here. So let's go check it out. So I think on this snorkel session, the only ones we saw were this or this, these two guys. And I think this one, but I saw a bunch of turtles. So this was our open water swim snorkeling session for 41 minutes. As you can see, 174 total calories. And then average water temperature was 27 degrees Celsius. And we can also add an effort. So my effort was definitely easy because I was just swimming around for fun, but it can go up all the way to like an all out. Let's put it back to easy. And there you go. And for today, I already have a bunch of different swimming sessions. As you can see, pool swim. This one was on accident, but I mean, my rings are looking good and it's only noon. So after every snorkel session, I loved going on the watch app and checking out my stats. So it's really cool because you can see your heart rate and even a full like map because the GPS tracks you in the water of where I swam around. So that was really, really awesome to see. But it's really cool because now I have a reminder of where my favorite snorkel spots were. I screenshot and favorite it in my phone so I can remember. We also had the humidity level, air temperature, water temperature. So I really got to see everything. When I was snorkeling, even when it was super sunny or dark in the shade, no matter where my wrist was positioned away from me, I could still see the screen and see what was being displayed there because how much brightness is in this device. And that's something I really appreciate. Now when I did a swim workout, what I really thought was cool is that your Apple Watch will actually tell you the stats and distance of how long you 
were doing every kind of stroke. So if I was doing front stroke, breast stroke, back stroke, it told me how long and how much distance I was doing all those in, which I thought that was so cool. How does it know that the technology in this is wild? It's all with the gyroscope and, you know, figuring out the arm and hand motions, but that was really cool and awesome to see. Good morning. I think I want to try my first swimming workout in this pool. So let's set it up and go. I've never swam laps with my Apple Watch for an actual workout. So I feel like with this watch, you got to do a real workout. So I'm going to swim some laps. So we're going to click on pool swim. 100 meters. And let's go. Okay, so I just finished it. I didn't realize how I was swimming that you can actually set laps. So I only even put it as one lap, but I could have done it as like way more. Whew, I'm out of breath. 34 total calories, 27 active calories. And then here is my workout score of the day. Now you can also just press new and right away start a new workout, whether that be walking, like proper gym workout or anything, which I think is awesome. So you can also rate your effort on that workout and put it as like moderate, hard. I'm gonna set that as moderate. And there we go. And after every workout, you can set what your zone was. So if it was really easy, you can click that. And I just like having all these extra workout stats. It actually does motivate me to want to turn on another workout or like get my steps in. It's kind of a constant reminder there on your wrist. Now, when you're doing any workout, it's great that you can switch between them. If you're doing like cardio and then weights, you don't have to stop your Apple Watch and start a new workout. It's all one seamless long workout. The training zones are cool because they're automatically calculated and personalized to your health data. And you can also click on them manually to change it. Now, I thought we were gonna go on a hike, but we actually did something more fun. We went ATVing and I was really excited to use the backtrack and waypoint feature. You can track your Pace, your distance, the elevation game, all these metrics are right there in your Apple Watch. It's so cool to see. It's also cool because it says the total elevation gain at the end of your workout or your trip so you can see exactly where you went. It also gave me a sense of peace knowing that if something went wrong, if I turned the wrong way, I could figure out all by myself how to backtrack and go back to point A square one where we started. We just made it to Maui Off-Road Adventures. These ATVs look dusty. We're gonna have a crazy two hour adventure. This looks so much fun though. I put on my first waypoint on my Apple Watch and I'm gonna be doing that throughout the trip to see where I'm going. All right, my Apple Watch is already dusty. I haven't even gone anywhere yet, but I'm glad I got the Apple Watch Ultra, keeping it nice and safe. this far let's add in another waypoint holy moly and we could backtrack retrack the pace and see how to get back i literally cannot see anything like where am i going made it to our first stop look how dusty we are dusty now we are continuing to head on our ride before we head back so got my watch going I'm tired let's go It's starting to rain now just as we're pulling in. So nasty. Oh, so much mud. So there we go. That was my entire trail. So if you're traveling a lot, going on hikes or just exploring new areas, I feel like this is a really good thing to have just as a peace of mind and kind of like a safety feature for yourself. I will continuously use this even if I'm going on hikes in my neighborhood or somewhere I'm comfortable with. I feel like this feature is good to have on no matter what. I also really like using the mindfulness feature. This is already built into your Apple Watch so you don't have to download any other apps. You can log your state of mind throughout the day, do breathing exercises and meditate. Beautiful colors show up on your wrist. It really calms you and makes 
makes you feel more grounded. If this is your moments that you pray every day or just a moment to reflect, I feel like this feature is great and you should definitely try it. I also think that this watch is so much easier to text people back from, check notifications because of the larger display. Also, the display doesn't curve on the edges, so it's flat and very easy to type. I've honestly liked this watch way more than I thought I was. I'm always a person that just wants it look to look good, but also be full technology. And I thought that this would be too masculine or not match my outfits, but honestly, I'm really loving it. I think I'm gonna get a new Apple Watch band just because this one doesn't really match my everyday outfits but the black is looking really sleek. I'm so glad I tested this device out and brought you guys along with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. We have so many more videos coming out very soon, so stay tuned. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you soon, bye.